What's up guys, welcome back to Fishing Over Chicks Woodworking. My name is Peter and today's video we are talking about jigs. Jigs are something that when I started woodworking, I had no idea what they were. When someone said jig, I was like, oh yeah, jigsaw, right? Jigs are very important now that we're doing some more intricate projects. You know, obviously beginners, you don't need them. So I'm going to be going over a few jigs that I use all the time in my shop. Um, I've got a big bucket of them actually that sit next to my workbench. So we're going to bring that out and let's see what jigs I use. First we have the DIY router table. So basically what I've done here is I've just got four pieces of plywood. We've got those pocket holes on the side there for extra strength. It's also glued in. And then on the top here, what we did is uh, we cut out this piece here, disconnect them. You've got one here and then slide that one out. So as you see up there, this is where this top piece actually fits in. So how we were doing that is uh, we went ahead and measured this piece. It was a quarter inch deep. Then we went and traced it, routed it out quarter inch deep, and uh, fit it in just like that. And once we knew it could fit like that, then we knew it could fit like that. So there's the router table, guys. Uh, we do have a video in the works about this router table that we will be posting within the next month or so. Um, so stick around for that if you want to know exactly how I made this table. The next jig we have here is just a piece of plywood. So what is it exactly? Well, we've got this notch cut out here, so we've cut all the way here, and then we stopped with the table saw, and this is for jointing wood. I use this thing all the time when I'm jointing wood on my table saw. I don't have a jointer, so this is what I use. We actually have a video all about this and a few other ways I joint wood without a jointer. You can go ahead and check that video out. It'll be in the description. All you have to do is clamp this down to your table saw, and then you've got the blade right up against the side of that piece. And then as you run the board through it, it's actually gonna joint that side that you have against the fence. Really easy and cheap way to joint wood, and I use this all the time. Next one we have here is a biscuit joint for boxes. So what we've got here is a piece that goes on our table saw track, and then of course we've got that 90 degree angle cut in there uh, with a slit in it. So basically all you do is clip this into your table saw track, and then as you push it forward, that blade will come through this opening right there. That's where you're gonna have your box, and it'll cut right into that right there all the way through. And the best part about this is I've got this two by four on the back. So when we're pushing it through, we can hold it just like this and our finger is nowhere near the blade. So we'll be nice and safe. This next jig is one I don't think I've talked about before, but I use it a lot. It's actually a jig for my squirrel picnic tables I used to make all the time. Basically you just throw in your leg pieces, making sure that they're up against that bottom piece. Then you're gonna take your support and glue that down just like that. Then I let it sit for like five to 10 minutes till it gets a little bit more solid. And then once you take it out, you've got yourself a set of legs. Then do that again, you've got both of your legs there. The next one is a jig I use a lot for coffee table legs if I wanna get them tapered off a little bit. All you have to do is grab the piece that you want. You're gonna, usually we'd use a little bit bigger of a piece cause you see we've got um, a little bit overlap here. But then you run this on the table saw just like this. It's gonna take off this piece of this leg right here, and then you're gonna have a nice taper. So let's bring this over to the table saw. Let's actually do it and show you what it's gonna look like. You wanna set this rib fence just enough so you can still slide your jig through there. Go ahead and place your piece on top, just like this. We're not actually gonna cut it because this two by four is too thick. Right here is where the saw is starting to meet the leg itself, and then as you run it through, It'll continue to cut, continue to cut, continue to cut, and then you'll get yourself a nice taper off there. Great for coffee table legs, makes it look a little bit nicer. The next jig is a super simple one that I use every time I use my planer. It is a planer sled. So basically, all I have here is a shellac piece of plywood that I had lying around, I'm not sure what it's from, and then a small 3 8 inch thick uh, piece that I've just screwed into the top. So what I do with it is when I'm running a piece of hardwood through the planer, I will put it just like this, and I'll run this end through the planer first. What those blades are doing is they're spinning this way, which is pushing this workpiece into the stop I have built here, and that's helping push this all the way through the planer sled. The shellac on the bottom helps it slide through the planer a little bit easier, and we're not getting caught up at all uh, on those planer blades. Sometimes I know when you're when you're working with a planer, the piece will get stuck in the middle, especially if it's a smaller piece like this. 
So that's especially what I use these for, um, these smaller pieces, so they're not gonna get stuck in the middle of the planer. It'll just continue pushing all the way through. Comes out the other side, you've got yourself a nice plain piece of wood. Next one, of course, is a miter sled, table saw sled, whatever you wanna call that. Uh, we're gonna take this over to table saw, obviously, so we can look at it. Clicks right in those grooves there, and then you go ahead and you run it through making miter cuts on your table saw. Super easy to do. Um, and then of course I've got this 45 degree angle cut here. So when this blade is down to 45 degrees, we can still make those cuts every time perfectly. And we'll show you that right now. And this next jig we're gonna talk about is actually a sneak peek on our upcoming content. Next week we will be posting a video using this jig. Comment down below if you think you can figure out what this is. I will say this was the first attempt at it and in the video we're gonna be making a much nicer one. But this does the same exact thing as that nicer one and it does a great job. So if you have any idea what this is, comment down below and the first person to get it right will shout you out in that video. So be looking at it, see if you can figure out what the heck this is. Keep in mind this was the first attempt at the jig and it's gonna look a lot nicer. But uh, see what you got. That's gonna do it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, um, and stick around next week to see what that jig is gonna be. We'll see you in the next one.